Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Fog 3D node. So the Fog 3D node pretty much applies fog to a scene based on the depth cues from the shapes within your scene. And what it's doing is it's actually just retexturing the geometry in your scene by applying a color correction to simulate fog or mist or something off in the distance. So it's not generating an actual volume like we think of when we think of fog within a, like Blender or Houdini, like adding that physical volume. It's not doing that. It's just retexturing the color of your elements within your 3D. So let's go ahead and add the fog 3D node. And you'll notice there's two. There's one called fog, which we have not gone over yet, which we will. This is a pretty deep pixel and intensive node, but we'll go over that. We want the fog 3D node. So we're going to go ahead and add that. And we want to make sure we input this after all of our shapes and all of our merge and everything. And you can put it before your render. So let's go ahead and pop it in. So on our fog node, we just have whether we want to enable or disable it. You can see these are lightly changed colors especially in the back if i uncheck it check it you can see it's changed in those colors and what show fog in view means is if i go to my view right here i really can't see our fog doing anything so if i check show fog in view and i go down here to my fog distance to bring that back where i want it i can use this fog distance to bring it back and you can see those start changing so i can bring my fog in where i want it Let's go back to render mode. Your color just changes the color of your fog. So you can change it to whatever color you want. And right now it's operating on a linear mode. And what that basically means is it's operating kind of parallel and perpendicular to our camera and our shapes. But the one problem is if we have camera move it from side to side and we're using linear, a lot of times we'll start having glitching on the side sides of our uh, camera frustrum as it goes past the fog. So selecting this radial will correct some of that. But just know when you select radio, sometimes it causes issues in your center of your camera. So we're going to leave that on linear. And we can leave it on linear, exponential, exponential times two. And you can change your density on exponential and exponential times two. So the fog distance, you've got your near and far. So you can change your near and far distance to get the look you want. Now, if you wanted to use a texture for your fog, we have a green input that allows us to input a texture. So if we say wanted to add a fast noise, we can input a fast noise into our fog and you can see that added some noise. And adjusting your uh, detail. So if I move our C, you can see our fog is moving around. So that is the Fog 3D node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.